Hello and welcome, I'm Steve Light, and we're with Shadows Over Loathing. Now it's been a little while since I've actually recorded this video, so... Or like, the previous video of this, I mean. So, I'm uh, having a little bit hard time, so I think we just need to head back with our compass now, don't we? Yeah, go back till they've got the compass, and we've got those side quests to do. Okay, so yeah, so we could just head back, that's good. Uh, God, it's been a while. Uh, bus stop. Uh, Ocean City. I'm pretty sure there's no other little like weird bits we had to do. Let's talk to Gabby before we... Gabby? Yeah, let me talk to you. Gabby. Gabby for Gabby. Hey, it's all of the berries. Uh, you know, Gabby, it's been a few years since I spent time in Ocean City, but I don't remember it being this run down. Oh. Yeah, we've... Yeah, we've already read that one. Okay. I wanted to get a talk in with Gabby because uh, she always has something fun to say. You alright there, buddy? What's up, Charles? Looks like you might find handy. I finally found the time to check out this store behind me. It turns out there was an old bricked up passageway back there. It leads right to Doom's place. Well, that's pretty convenient. Thanks, Charles. Hey, don't mention it, kiddo. Mention without <laughs> leave without mentioning it. That is very convenient. <laughs> Cause that is these are our two like hub areas. This is like our main hub. This is that's our hub for like our party members and all that stuff, so. Yeah, it's good that there's a door that leads like straight to them. Um, let me actually go here. Actually, let me just check. So I might have gotten some booze type items to give him. Uh, oh no, I got all the drinks though. But I don't think I want to because I think we're close to probably ending this day. And I think they will just reset. Does any of this stuff come back? Let's see what's in there. Oh yeah, some stuff does restock. That's good. Right. Okay. Anyway. Uh, here you go, Jessica. I got that compass. Oh, good. Not too much of an do, I hope. Could have been worse, I guess. There were some horrible fairies. What? No, don't tell me. Just uncurse that figure and get some rest. Okay. I think the next artifact is a book. I'll have the location narrowed down by morning. Sounds good. I feel like I've already gotten a few cursed books, but <laughs> there we go. Right. You sit in the chair, which is surprisingly comfortable. Yeah, yeah. The shadow tainted puzzle. The puzzle? Compass. Ah, I can't read. Uh, you sit with the compass in both hands as the machine whirs and whines and shakes around you. The machine you feel is frustrated. Some internal mechanism is swinging wildly, frantically, then crack. It figures out whatever it needed to, and then and there is no more curse. Not in the compass, not anymore. It still points to Old North, though, so it's practically useless. It's got the uncursed compass. It's an accessory. You've removed the curse from the compass, making it just a comp. Okay. Uh, plus 10 to item drops and plus 10% to meat drops. I imagine that probably got to like 20 if I further uncurse it. Yeah, the compass's curse is now transfixed in the uncursed machine. Dare you project your consciousness inside? I dare. What funkiness have we got this time? Okay, I'm a... Like a worker, maybe? This is madness. That foolhardy coach is going to get us all killed. Oh, I'm like a basketball player or baseball player. We should listen to what coach has to say. What do you think we ought to do? Let's get out of here. Go home. Don't you think things are just fine the way they were? Why are we doing this? You mean playing baseball? Yeah, baseball. He looks you dead in the eye, man. Just a nervy chuckle. Yeah, that's right, kid. We should listen to what coach has to say. Uh, like him or not, he is our coach. We ought to listen to what he has to say. People say not to change horses in midstream, but what if the horse is trying to get you that bashed in the head with a baseball? That's a horse worth changing, and trust me, I know from horses. I saw one once. Alright, well, see ya. Cool, okay, it's like weird's going on with the coach then. Gosh, that looks sore. Was he getting us just to like practice out in like pelting out rain? Is that what he's doing bad? I'm disgusted that it's come to this. We all know you're the weak link in the team. Some would say a team accountant shouldn't even be allowed on the field. But you tell me, did all my years of including you in the team lunches and burpees make you into a baseball player? Yes, coach, I'm ready to hit the balls. Now, coach, I'm an accountant. That's all I'll ever be. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah? That's what I wanted to hear. Your destiny's out there on diamond, son. Go and hit the parking lot. Yes, coach. Say, coach. Why did you wear that funny looking hat? 
Gee, coach, you think Mary Bell will ever marry me? Excuse me, coach, I gotta hit, go hit something. Why are you wearing that funny looking hat? Nothing funny about it, son. It's a cloche? Cloche? The coach is cloche. It's traditional. <laughs> Do you think you will marry me? I can't answer that, son. All I can tell you is that Mirabelle has married every World Series MVP since the series was first contested in 1903. You work out the rest. Okay. Plunkett Street pushover zero. Powerful basket team 14. Oh, space to swing. Oh, God. Oh, damn. What the? Oh, God. I can't even see them. It's so hard to. Oh, Jesus. Okay, maybe I'm not cut out for this. I can't even see where they're coming from. It's so hard to see. What the hell? I feel like I'm hitting some of these as well. Maybe that's the maybe that's the thing. Maybe I can't actually hit any of these. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> hey, coach. <laughs> There's no talking baseball, so get out there. What's with these compasses, coach? My swing won't connect with them. I know it must be overwhelming. All I can tell you is to stay calm and remember that it's base. But in baseball, it's all about what you do hit. Why is the other team getting points when I swing? Yeah. That's baseball, son. If you if the other team ever feels physically intimidated, that's an automatic five-point penalty. What? <laughs> then how am I supposed to win at all? Quick, Gabby, and get back out there. Don't you know leaving the field to talk to the coach is a ten-point penalty? Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Man, I feel like I got like... Oh, go back and... I feel like I just can't hit this. <laughs> God damn it. No, okay, I'm moving on. <laughs> ah. Damn it. No! They keep going for different directions. No, okay, I, I can't hit these. That would have been the direct hit. Huh. Right, so there's my exit. Be something else I could do. What's all these covers, coach? My swing, I get them. You got this, I just remember there's always other ways to beat their score. Hmm. Ah! Son, son, my number one boy, you did it! You son of a gun! You won the whole damn game! Did I really do good, coach? Look at the scoreboard. It's zero to hole. That's the whole ball game. Yay! I win! Couldn't, couldn't have done it without you. That's one for the accountants. This one's for all to say base for all who say baseball. Gee, coach, you think we're going to marry me now? Uh, we could have done it without you, coach. Now get over here, champ, and pucker up. So here comes the coach's big sniff. What? I think I want to know what that means. Funny, the compass feels extremely reassuring now that it's back to being an ordinary little thing in your hand, and not something held at your head in oversized ghostly form from every cardinal direction. It glows faintly. Yeah, that was kind of cursed. Oh, 25%. That's pretty good. To think you were ever scared of little old compass. I was never scared of this compass. Laugh at the compass. Gee, cursed, do you think Maribel will ever marry me? I just... <laughs> I don't know, Doom, but you don't need to call me Coach. We're friends. Call me Jessica. Could you call me Coach, though? Okay, Coach. Uh, I mean, Jessica. Okay, Couch. Uh, I mean, Coach. Uh, I mean, Jessica. Maybe take it easy with that machine for a little while. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, right. Uh, oh, no, not that one. What is my uh, accessory at the moment? That's offhand. Accessory. Plus one, Mr. Cality. Oh, I feel like it's got to be... This one over that, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. I mean, Mr. Cality is good, but this is just a lot to my drops. 
Let's get that on. Uh, right, I think we're just heading to bed now, ain't we? Uh, yeah, how is this helping find Murray, actually? Hey, Jessica, not to dispute the importance of collecting these weird artifacts or anything, but I'm worried about Uncle Murray. How is this helping find him? Oh, I guess I didn't really explain that. See, the Detectotron 1000 is new. We only really got it running after Murray disappeared. He always, he's always searched out artifacts in more hands on ways. Research, networking, following rumours, that kind of thing. That last artifact he went after, it could be basically anywhere, but the Detectotron only detects the nearest artifact. I see. So you figure if we pick him up in order, eventually we'll get the one that he was looking for. Right. I wish to hell he'd left a note about where he was going, but I guess he either thought it was too dangerous and didn't want us following, or he just rushed off all excited like a kid at a toy store. That's Murray for you. Yeah, that tracks. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, Charles flags you down. Oh, he's probably going to ask me for another uh, applicant. I've got some applicants here <laughs> for the new storefront I've fixed up over there on the other side of the Cola Wall Supply store. Got a second to pick one? Sure thing. Uh, first applicant is Jardware's Hardware. I guess if your name is Jardware, your options for rhyming business names are pretty limited. The second is Truncheons and Bludgeons. This fella is really excited about weaponry. And the last applicant is 10 Things I Hat About You. A hat store, I presume. Terrible name. I kind of want to get more hats. I feel like... I mean, I know this hat was a hat we uncursed, so it's naturally going to be sort of good. I kind of want to get more hats. Uh, let's go to the hat store, despite the name. Uh, okay, I'll get them moved in and get the next store for, ready for applicants. And also, if I buy a bunch of them, I can continue the hat photographer's quest line a bit. Uh, you hang the cow skull over, over your desk. If anybody asks, I, I'll tell them you killed the cow yourself. Thanks. A simple writing desk with no chair or pens or paper or anything. Cool. Well, I'm slowly filling out the room with the most um, bizarre looking things, but filling it out. Someone has given you a nightstand. There's a briefcase and a note on top. Take one and read the other. The note says, Doom, the quality of your work at the distillery has been noted as excellent. We will contact you in a telephone manner with further opportunities. DT. A briefcase full of meat. Like a cow, this briefcase is flesh surrounded by leather. Oh god. I like a cow. It has brass latches and a handle. Okay. Honest work for dishonest pay. Okay, so this is from the uh, the mob. <laughs> 300 meat. You open a case. Now that's a lot of... Now that's a lot of... Gabagool. God. Damn it. Alright. Let's see what weird dream we have this time. Uh, you're, ready, you're ready to make the transition from Crystal Dream to regular dreams. Oh, you're gonna meet um, Dark Noel. Remember her last time in here? This represents your growing mistrust of your bed. Cool. If you repeat it enough times, it starts to sound like a real word. Galaxton. <laughs> Jesus. Museum of Skulls. It's the Museum of Skulls, obviously. Wait a minute. One of these skulls is yours, and it's missing its teeth. Oh yeah, didn't we have our teeth, like, knocked out? Give it the ones you're carrying, yeah. You put the teeth back in your skull. It tries to thank you, but you have no tongue. You got an item, no tongue. Quest item. You're not sure what this is, but you're sure what it isn't. Curious. Yeah, curious indeed. What the hell? Oh, there she is. A strange conversation is taking place here. Put in spate. The woman scowls at you. You'd better have some good news for me, Noel. Uh, good news is I'm dreaming. Let me give you the bad news first. No news is good news. Good news is bad news. Hog futures are up 10 points. Good news is bad news. <laughs> um, good news is bad news. Everything is just peachy keen, Madam President. Good, the Darren project is complete. Wait, what? That isn't what I said. This isn't me. Who am I? Everything's perfect, ma'am. The circuits are lit up just like a crimbo tree. And what about the interloper? The what now? Confusion. Uh-oh, she means me. Fear. I'll show you an interloper. Anger. 
I should never have come here, regret. Uh, uh oh, she means me. Yes, I'm working on that. A little bird has told me his last name. Light, if you can believe it. Our friend Morris is his uncle. The presence frown deepens. Any relative of Murray Morris is an enemy of ours. Find him and get him out of the picture. Dot 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 dot. I'll pick dot dot number three. I'll be delighted, ma'am. Both Noel and the President wink out of existence with an ominous sounding pop. You are ready for this trip to be over. And how? Any secrets? If th it's as if there's some sort of invisible wall here, you can go no further. Cool, okay. Step through. Okay, so we learned that our uncle is like a target for Dark Noel as well. Oh, cool, no creepy mafia guy at the end of our bed this time. <laughs> cool. Any other little stuff? No, okay. Onwards. Morning, Doom. How are you feeling? I'm fine, I guess. I've been having weird dreams. Oh, like the one you, where you're driving a car, but you're in the back seat and can't reach any of the controls. I can't remember very clearly, but I think it was weirder than that. I really hate that one. <laughs> anyway, I found the next cursed thing. It's a hardcover book about Yay Big, and it's somewhere on the campus of the Seaside Institute of Technology in Paul Cap. <laughs> you're into <laughs> I haven't even had any coffee yet. I'm sure you'll be able to find coffee when you get there. They've probably invented some kind of high-powered science coffee or something. Alright, alright. Do you have a map of the place? No, but it's a college campus. It can't be that hard to find your way around. College students do it all day. Ugh. The bus to Port Cam leaves from the usual stop. Good luck. Thanks. God, I hate having to navigate. The secondary school. Um, anything new there? Anything I can help you with? No, nothing that route. Okay. Cool, okay, let's head out. I wanna, oh wait, phone, yeah, that's right. Uh, you check the message pad next to the phone. There's a note for you. Call Don T with phone number. Call the mob back. Don Toperone verbalizing. Hi, Don, it's me. Ah, Splendiferous, oh God, this guy. Kudos on your triumphal completion of my previous assigned nation. You're welcome, is that all? In fact, I have another item of business to be attenuated. To uh, attenuated which I believe to be suited marvellously to one of your skills. Which one? No, I mean, well, regardless, we require that you proceed apace to Crystal Dream Lake, wherein is located a purveyor of tools and implements of construction. Say again? You might vernacularize, vernacularize it as a hardware store. Ah, right, you guys ran out of cement or something. We have a necessitude that you will perform upon this place of business what we cat categorize as shakedown. They owe you meat. Though we are merely desirous that the local commercialized, commercialist retail emporia feel a measure of intimidation. Okay, I guess I can handle that. God, speak normal, Mr. Toberone. Jeez. Right, let's have a look. Ten things I hat about you. There are indeed a lot of nice hats in here, but are they better than what I've got on, sir? Hi, my name's Doom. Pleased to meet you. I'm Albert. Why aren't you wearing a hat? Have you ever heard the phrase, familiarity breeds contempt? Gotcha. What's for sale? Got a driving cap. Uh, you don't drive, but it never hurts to have a real aerodynamic hat. Really, and an aerodynamic hat. We generate an extra AP per round. Ooh, it's interesting. Uh, the flowery cloche. This hat has a real rose on it, so you'll be able to smell it without even stopping. For stench armor, that's pretty nice for like uh, actual doing quest stuff. The green visor. You can't be afraid of what you can't see, and with this, you can't see about half everything. Spooky armor. The male carrier's hat. Neither snow nor rain nor heat nor gloom of night is going to mess up your hair. Two physical armor and two cold armor. Hmm. I could afford all of these, to be honest. Let me buy all of them, because I want to do that quest line anyway. Uh, let me have a look. Where's hats? Uh, hats. So what have I got? I got the Cursed Fedora. One Roxy plus five Vax HP. Yeah, I feel like I could change that for something here. Like the physical and cold armor, maybe. I mean, that's really helpful, but...
Yeah, maybe an extra AP per round would be good, actually. Mm. Yeah, let's go with this one. Right, I need to sort out my buffs as well. Uh, food, what food do I have? I've got a ton of scroll cheese. Moxie by one. Makes you immune to poison. Pretty handy. Increases your muscle by one and your maximum HP by five. Increases Slee's armor. Hmm. Gonna eat this just to get my muscle up a little bit and also my health. Uh, potions, what we got? Fairy dust, spooky armor, mysticality by one and damage of your magical weapons by three. It's pretty good. Physical armor by three, also really good. Moxie, magical weapons by three, hot armor by three. Still can't drink this, I guess. Yeah, later then. Let's do this one. Inhale. You sniff the fragrant spores. They smell like colours you've never smelled before. Cool. Right, and then we need to head to uh, here and get some booze in us. Some more buffs. Hi, right, Dan. Uh, oh, right, yeah, of course. Yeah, we earn money. Nice. Um, can I get all of these or does one overwrite the other? Let's see, if I get more health. Let me just check, have I got both of those now? Uh, from boost, plus it's called armor. Yeah, no, okay, because I can only have one. Uh, I think the more health ones will probably be the best, to be fair. Yeah, okay. And I think that's all the buff types we can get. Uh, right, let's leave. Oh, actually, let me give, um, give some pets. There we go. Oh. <laughs> And I think... Oh, actually, let me... Can I play chess with anyone? Uh, you play white this time. What's your first move? God, all these weird terms again. Damn it. <laughs> Is there any way to actually win this? <laughs> How do you win this? No, I'm just gonna go on the assumption that I can't win that so I have something else. Okay. Anyway. Uh, let's do this thing for the mob. Uh, it was a Crystal Dream Lake. Uh, the hardware store, there we go. Do this first so we can travel to the new area. Oh, oh, look at this. What's up, Gabby? She's pointing at a patch of large purple mushrooms growing out of a rotting log. Look at these mushrooms. So fat and healthy. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess they do look... Uh-oh. Well, are you actually going to eat all of those? Rum the dog drum go. Gabby is taking their secrets. Oh god. Should have maximum HP increases by five. Well, okay then. Man, Gabby is um, they're kind of scary sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, hi dude. I know what we did this whole thing before, but uh, I kind of need to give you a shake down this time. Hello again, what can I do for you? Propose a shaking. I've been asked to shake up some of your merchandise. Come again? There's some mob guys who want to intimidate you for some reason, so they sent me here to shake things up. Or down. Something like that. Huh. Well, those cans of paint over there could use a good shaking. I ain't got around to it for a while. Okay, sounds good. Can't say I feel particularly intimidated, though. Shake them up. You give all the paint cans a vigorous shaking, but prior to a nod his thanks. I have a feeling this isn't what the mob wanted here, Doom Light. Just saying. Uh. Hmm. Can I not, uh. Oh, yeah, ask for candy. 
Oh, don't be greedy. Uh, well, screw you two then. <laughs> uh. I guess that's all I could do. Granting this. Yeah, I guess. Okay. <laughs> cool. That was easy. <laughs> uh, the sit campus. Uh, cool cam. Chapter three. Back to school. Oh god, no, my worst nightmare. Man, it's like epic battle music going on for the school. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right. Seaside Institute. That's what. <laughs> Why is there a V? Okay. Anyway. Uh, I just smoke. <laughs> this seems unsafe, yeah. Theoretical Topology Lab 1. You don't have time to poke around in weird labs. You need to go find that cursed book. I mean, the, let's say library would be the place. As you enter the library, an elderly man, presumably the librarian, waves you over to his desk. Hello, I'm afraid I don't recognise you. Are you a student here? Oh, no, I'm just looking for a book. I'm sorry, the Institute's library is only for students, alumni, and faculty. It's really important that I see this book, though. I do wish I could help you, but rules are rules. You'll have to inquire at the admissions office first. Shoot. Uh. Sure, I'll go in here first. <laughs> Uh, this is either the administration admissions clerk or someone the admissions clerk pays to keep their seat warm. Talk to her. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, um, the librarian said I need to be a student to use the library, so I guess I'm here to take the most absurdly roundabout route to my goal possible. Yeah. Ah, well, you'll be interested in the accelerated course then. Our usual undergraduate degree is a four year program, but the accelerated course only takes three. Three years is still kind of more than I was hoping for. Hours. Three hours. Oh, okay, great. How much would it cost? Uh, are you from this area? Yeah, how Poe keeps the originally, but I'm living in Ocean City. Well, you're in luck. What with the accelerated course being discounted, plus a further discount for local education incentives, plus a further discount for the fact that we're in the middle of a break and the facilities would otherwise be idle, tuition will be 100 me. Well, that sounds really reasonable. We also have some leftover grant money for low-income students this fiscal year, if you need assistance. The grand total would come to free. I will totally take you up on that. Great, sign here, it will get you all set up. What would you like to take as your major? Huh, that's a big decision. Well, since we're on break and a lot of the teachers are out of town, it's actually not all that big. The three options available are botany, robotronics, or chemicals. Botany, combat, robotic, something rather than logic, chemicals, difficult puzzle. Uh, botany? Next, choose a minor, which can be geology, meta acoustics, or astrology. That's <laughs> silly, a puzzle. Um, stupid geology. And finally, you've got one elective spiders, culinary science, or physical ed. Oh god. Ugh, spiders, ooh. Yeah, spider, spider sounds like a totally normal choice. I'll go with that. The clerk makes a few notes and gives us some papers. Okay, great. That's everything. Here's your transcript sheet. In order to graduate, you'll need to get each of your three instructors to sign it after you pass their class. Okay, well now I'm going to get started. Here's a map to help you get around. Got the uh, campus map, yep. And here's your student ID. Don't lose that. It's how Athena identifies you. Here's Athena. Athena is our campus security. It's an acronym for Ask the New Electronic Doorway Security System for Access. <laughs> Never let the guy who builds a thing pick the name. Anyway, welcome to the Seaside Institute of Knowledge. Just in time too. My lunch break starts right now. She stands up from the desk and leaves with a wave. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Right, we've got some school stuff to do, I guess. This guy must be the janitor, presumably. Talk to him. Hi there, are you the janitor? 
Oh yeah, that's me. Been the vagina in this place for nigh on 60 years, damn. You got any questions? I figure I know about all there is to know about this buildings. These buildings. Well, everything. Well, everything janitorial at any rate. <laughs> I do have a question, in fact. Yeah, what can I do for you, kiddo? Uh, we'll leave him to his end of swapping. That's a lot of stuff to ask about. Gift shop. There's a black void in your gift shop, man. It's a, <laughs> it's a weird little pocket of nothing that's just sort of hovering here. Maybe we should ask Jessica about it. Uh, gain five extra XP from fights. Ooh. Oh, it's a coffee mug. Okay, <laughs> I was like, what's it do? Uh, jazz slacks, one moxie, Mr. Cality. Hang it on your wall. Sure. Plus one muscle. Uh, I don't think I particularly need any of that. Um, yeah, I got Mr. Cali ones already, so. Uh, it's a weird shadow pocket or pouch or something. Reach aside. That, that seems like a really bad idea. Are you sure? Yeah. I can't stress enough that you shouldn't do this. It might give you some kind of shadow disease. Or it might even just bite your hand clean off or anything. Do it. Well, alright. It's your head or hand, whatever, rather. Don't come crying to me or psych horrible weapons. Whatever. You stick your hand into the hole, grab the first thing your fingers brush against, and yank it back out. I got a shadow hot dog. The shadowy pocket vanishes with an otherworldly pop. What the hell is a shadow hot dog? A sausage shaped hole in reality. It has been placed into a regular hot dog bun for your convenience. Cool. Uh, increases my muscle by one and damage of melee weapons. Oh, okay, it's totally not my thing. Cool. Uh, oh god. This place is massive. So the machine appears to have been pretty comprehensively tampered with. So mechanically Suave Vandal has increased the price of soya to an exorbitant 50 meat. Damn. Press the Athena button. Herb, can I go in here? Student ID, doom light, identified. Access to this doorway is limited to students and faculty in the astronomy department. Foo. <laughs> Why is there steam coming out of the the tap. Okay, never mind. Laundry room. Paradox room. Access granted if and only if this door is closed. My brain hurts. Barbecuing. Oh god. It's too many places. Uh oh god, I'm outside now. Uh oh wait, I'm back at the front. No. Oh god, this place. Is there a... Yeah, okay, there is a map. Oh god, I was getting so... confused about where I was going. The sign says district petting is out of order. Security is heavily locked up. <laughs> this is the most locked door you've ever encountered. Cola machine set five meat. Huh, looks like they forgot to unpack the cans before they loaded up the machine up. Full of, load the machine up. Crate of cola. Take it to the speakeasy. Cool. Oh, another void. Shadow beer. Increases physical armor by seven. God. Uh, so I can either give up damage for a ton of armor. Let's keep damage for now, but that'll be good for another day. Uh, my thing was geology, wasn't it? Uh, access to stories, limit students, faculty, yes, me. Uh, go on in. Why is it so confusing? It's supposed to for a rock focused fraternity. This might sound cool, but remember, rock music w won't be invented for another 20 years or so. Cool. <laughs> uh, information plinth. One of the main projects of SIT's geology department is the study of hypercrystalline formomorphic diorites, known to the layman as Hexrock. Hexrock has many fascinating properties. For more information, continue to the right and read the rest of the plimps. Oh god. 
Like other diorites, the specific mineral composition and configuration of hex rock varies from sample to sample. Some of these configurations have been observed to violate the known laws of physics, such as gravity, see display. Other configurations have been observed to violate the known laws of this state, such as aggravated assault, sample not available for safety reasons. Uh, hex rock sample of the correct composition and sufficient mass can exert an influence over the non formomorphic Oh god, rocks in its vicinity. This property is referred to as charisma. God. Ow. Ow. <laughs> uh, perhaps most. Oh god. Yeah, Gabby's got the right idea. She's running away. Perhaps more, most interestingly, some hex rock samples have been observed to be formatically entangled with other larger samples in such a way as to cause the larger hex rocks to materialize or dematerialize. The smaller switch hex rocks are interacted with. This appears to work regardless of distance or intervening obstruction, and sometimes a single switch hex rock exerts control over more than one target hex rock. I'll be honest with you, we haven't got the foggiest idea how this works, and some of us are kind of freaked out by it. Jesus. Touch it. Neat. Touch it again. Cool. Uh, even a small hex rock of the correct composition when placed in a mortem engine such as this one can be used to generate an almost unlimited amount of electricity, albeit of low to middling voltage. This particular sample, for instance, powers the elevator down to the part of the quarry. Unfortunately, attempts to artificially synthesize this type of hex rock have not yet been fruitful. Mm. Despite what the sign says, there don't seem to be actually any actually be a hex rock in that engine thingamajig. Huh. I mean... Surely the solution is to pick up one of these, right? Or pick up this one? No? Come on, pick up any of these hex rocks and place it in the thing. Ow, ow. Hmm. Anything hiding in the desks? No, okay. Or maybe if I... Oh no, I can't go up high in there, okay. I feel like picking up one of these figures is like the solution to this, but maybe not. Hmm. Okay, so I need... I need a hex rock for this. Because I guess I can't do this yet. Let's head over to the next thing, the spider wing. Oof. Oh god, why is it like legit spiders in this area? The hell? Uh, this is one of our things, wasn't it? Spiders, yep. Uh, that's me. Uh, you walk into the classroom and find a bunch of undergrads seated at desks, fidgeting impatiently. Jeez, finally. Ah, uh, but we could have left if he had been another six hours late. Uh, aren't your kids supposed to be on the break? Well, we would be, yeah. Except we've been waiting for you to get here to start class. You glance at your transcript, and sure enough, you signed up to teach this class, not take it. Whoops. Oh. Well, that's all good. <laughs> Start teaching. It's a lecture. Your lecture, apparently. You look out across the rows of expectant students and clear your throat. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, what's this class about? Spiders. Ah, yes, of course. Well then, spiders. Spiders are super gross and scary. They have eight legs and lots of eyes. I think maybe eight eyes. How many buttholes do they have? Probably four, right? Eight legs, four buttholes. That's logical. Students not to write this down in their notebooks. Any other questions so far? One student raves their hand in the air frantically. Oh, oh, pick me. Okay, sure, what is it? Did you ever fight in Instradasvanian Vampire Spider? Did I fight one? Well, you don't expect us to respect you as a teacher if you don't have any real hands-on experience, do you? I wasn't holding out much hope for it regardless. Can I just read a book about them? A book? Oh, come on, you're wet. Any of us could read a book ourselves. What were we paying you for? They aren't. We can't possibly take you seriously unless you've personally killed the giant blood-sucking nightmare monstrosities that you supposedly hear the teachers about. I think they have one in the lab. Alright, fine, I'll be right back. Cool, okay. Applied spiders. The experiment controls mess a bit. There's a sign on it that says, out of order due to lack of spider food. Hmm. This food shelf is bare, or is it? 
Okay, you got me. It is completely bare. Someone left a note. I owe you one bag, one bag spider chow, Jerry. Hmm. Hilbert must be one of the student dorms. Okay then. You'd hate to drag the extra dirt from outside for that cute little robot to clean up. It's working so hard. Wait, why does it have a tiny label that says "killing floor" or <laughs> "killing room floor"? Yikes. Okay, so we got to do a lot of stuff to come back and do all this stuff. Jeez. Roof access and there's a flyer with a frat party on the notice board. Say Aramecha on the crown of God. Right, okay. Uh, test door, disregard, regard it. By regarding the door, you are instructed to disregard it. Disregard it. D oh, God, I'm not getting into that. Right, I have a feeling I need to teleport to some places and uh, go from there, I think. Yeah, because this place is like a maze. Okay, I'm going to properly explore this school in the next episode, I think, because this is all going to be a lot to take on, I feel like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have a like and a comment, if you're really well, slap subscribe button. It's totally free and helps the channel grow. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.